Good morning, everyone. As you can see here, I have Mr. Myas, and if you look even closer, you'll see he is actually in a bassinet. I finally got one on Thursday from um, Facebook Marketplace. It was only $20. So if you're looking for cheap baby supplies or what have you, Facebook Marketplace is always a good place to check before even going to a thrift shop. Because in my case, the lady actually came and dropped it off for me, so I didn't have to catch the bus and go to her or anything like that. Um, so that was really nice. So yeah, it's an older bassinet. I think it's from like 2008, but um, it's in pretty good condition considering. So obviously I don't mind that it's older um, at all. I think it's a beautiful little bassinet. It has these little dangly stars on it, and it's um, like this... It's light green and plaid and uh, white uh, not white but like cream so it's very like a uh, gender neutral which is exactly what I want it and it has a little bit of storage underneath so I thought I'd do a little changing video and chat um, this morning so if I sound a little tired um, I <laughs> just woke up and it's still kind of early for me to be waking up especially because I didn't go to sleep um, until I don't even know when because I stayed up rooting, finishing rooting my realborn June, the newborn one. Um, I finished rooting her last night. So I rooted for about seven hours straight. <laughs> I just was like, I have to finish her. So right now her glue is drying and when that's done in a couple hours, I will be trimming her hair and assembling her. And she should be ready to um, be for uh, put up for sale. I should be doing her photo shoot today, um, at least the indoor portion, because today it's actually supposed to be really um, winter weather advisory here in the mountains. Finally, we're getting some winter, real winter weather supposed to be happening. Um, so it's not a great day for photos. It's not sunny at all, which is why. Um, I'm by the window and this is all the light that's coming in from the window and I have a really big window so um, Yeah, anyway, um, so I thought I would talk to you guys about Silicones, I don't know if I have ever actually talked about silicone dolls with you guys and If I would want one or not. Um, I think I like briefly mentioned them in passing in some of my videos with other topics um I don't think that I ever said if I wanted one or not. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about that while I change Amias. So he's going to be wearing this cute little outfit. It's a little wrinkly. Um, it's fine. <laughs> um, it, the wrinkles will eventually fall out. So it's not a big deal. So it's, like I said, it's a little warmer, so I'm going to put him in a sweater. But I'm going to put him in this little, um, it has a little bear on it. I think that's a bear. Koala bear, yeah. It has a little koala on it, and it's light blue, and it's one of those kimono-style snap-up shirts, um, and it has little mittens on the end, the scratch mitts. I wanted to use natural lighting, but like I said, it's not working out for me. Oops, sorry. Hit the tripod. It's not working out for me today, is it? Uh, the, the sun is just not today. But um, yeah, so that's that. That's what he's going to wear on top. And then on top of that, he's also wearing this beautiful sweater that I have had for a while that I just love putting on um, my little boys. And uh, sometimes I put it on the girls, actually. It's very um, gender neutral to me. It's like a um, knit sweater, and it has these... Um, I forgot what this design is called, but it's in light blue that matches the shirt, um, a darker red, and... I in navy and gray and white. I forgot what uh, design this is called, but I have a set a sweater that has a similar design at the top. So that's going to go on top of this shirt. And then 
on his for his pants. I'm just gonna put some khaki little jogger type pants on him. See, they're very wrinkled, but that's because they were how they were in the drawer. But it's okay. And then these little knit booties that I think I you guys didn't actually get the focus on and when I bought them. I got these the these are the ones I got from Target. They're cream slash off white, so thought these were also really cute and they'd go with the knit sweater and I just love them. Um, they fit him perfectly. They're just so cute. So that's what he's gonna be being changed in today. I took some pictures of him last night, which is why he has like the little setup like this, where he's got the um Soothe pacifier next to him and the bottle. Let me put him back in frame without making the camera fall over. Okay, so yes, um, let's talk about silicone dolls. First of all, I want people to realize that um, silicone dolls are expensive for a reason, and it's because silicone itself, just like plain silicone that you put into the mold, is very expensive to buy. I don't know why it's so expensive. I think it's just because it's expensive to make in general, to make silicone. Um, but I was doing some brief looking online and I think like a gallon of silicone is like $200 or something like that. And in order to make a doll, you need a lot of silicone. So um, if any silicone artists or people who may have made a silicone doll before knows correct the correct price per gallon of silicone and how much it takes to make a silicone doll, please, you know, comment below and give us an exact number so we understand, like, I understand, I understand personally why it's so expensive, but I think it would be helpful for others to get an idea of why silicone dolls are often thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's one boundary for me, obviously, to be able to get a uh, silicone doll is they're just <laughs> incredibly expensive. Um, most people cannot afford them and if they can afford them they do layaway plans and for me that's just not really possible at this point in my life. As you guys know obviously I'm a college student and I have other things to pay for. Um, sometimes I have textbooks and, and fees that I don't um, expect. So uh, silicone having a layaway plan I just wouldn't be able to probably pay consistently and it would take like uh, probably a year um, at least to pay off, pay off that silicone and by the time that happened I don't know if I would even want the doll anymore because you know uh, your, um, your feelings about dolls they do shift and you know I would feel bad about asking for a refund and then I would <laughs> get the doll and probably end up reselling it um, I'm just being honest about myself. I know myself, and I think that it would just be um, hard to do it that way because I like to have my dolls in a relatively quick time period. Like I'm having a custom done right now. Well, she hasn't started technically yet, but um, I'm having custom done soon. Start it soon, and I just I'm so um, excited, but I'm very impatient um, sometimes. Um, as we all are really impatient sometimes, but yeah, so I think a year would just be a asking too much for, of myself to wait. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. But so that's one like boundary for me as far as it comes to enjoying silicone dolls is the price and the waiting that I would have to do to pay it off. Um, e another thing about silicone dolls is Honestly, I don't think, I think they're less realistic than Reborns. And I'm going to explain what I mean by, I, I just really think they're less realistic. Um, the way they move, a lot of them, depending on, of course, the silicone they're poured in, there's different types of silicone as well, um, different blends of softness and stuff. But for me, every silicone doll I've seen, and like I saw a, a lot at, um, Rose Doll Show, um, and those were like the top silicone artists and stuff, and I just don't think they're as real realistic. They move kind of weirdly. Um, you don't really see a lot of babies flopping around that much, um, and even if, and then when they have armatures in them, then they're too stiff. So it's just not. Uh, I like vinyl because you know it's still soft, but it and you can pose them, but it's not like 
they're flopping all over the place and they're not extremely stiff. Um, but I find a lot of silicones, even the like top um, silicone artists, their dolls are like weird. They <laughs> move weird. The movement is kind of strange on a lot of them. And then as far as um, painting, I also think that the unless you're gonna pay like twenty thousand dollars for a silicone, a lot of silicone painting is also definitely like not as realistic as Reborn's. Um, I believe that's probably because it's harder to paint silicone, um, the process of, process of painting silicone is of course another thing that adds to the price and it's much different as I understand it from painting Reborn dolls. Um, I think with the Reborn dolls, you know, it's much simpler because with the silicone, I think if you mess up or if you want to redo the painting, I think you actually have to sand down the layer of paint um, off of the silicone. Um, so that's another reason why it's so expensive, but also another reason why I would be hesitant to want a silicone because a lot of times the coloring is off or, um, you know, the texturing is off, they get shiny a lot, um, and you have to keep rematting them and it's, they're just not as realistic sometimes. I, like a lot of, especially ethnic um, silicone dolls. A lot of them I see are not really, um, <laughs> they are not colored correctly. They look very gray and that very dead baby look that I try to avoid, um, I find very common in a lot of um, even really like high-end ethnic reborns. They look more gray than they do look brown. And um, that's a major concern for me, even if I were to somehow be able to afford a high-end ethnic reborn, which is what I would want, it would be um, very hard to find one that had the perfect coloring or decent coloring enough for me. So um, that's another thing about uh, silicones that's hard for me to understand, um, to not understand, but to cope with the coloring. The coloring, the realism, you know. Um, now, I have seen some really realistic silicones, but again, like I said, they're going to cost you like $10,000. Um, and then my last thing, I think, what was I going to say? Last thing with silicones. Oh, gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, I'm sure I'll come back to it. But yeah, silicones are um, mostly inaccessible. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Okay, yeah, like I said, I am a college student. Um, I don't have a, a ton of free time, especially this semester. I've been very busy um, this week alone, and it's the first week back. It's the first week of the semester, and I've been already super busy. Like Professors uh, have been assigning lots of uh, readings and stuff like that um, already this semester, very first week. So uh, if that's an indication of how busy I'll be this semester, um, It'll be interesting <laughs> um, to see if I can balance it again. I was very busy last semester, but, um, and I was able to balance it all, as you saw, and still get um, straight A's. But, yeah, so silicone dolls themselves actually require a lot more upkeep than vinyl reborns. And I think people don't realize that um, when they get silicones if they go you would think you know if they go through all that and pay all that money to then get a silicone they would do their research on how to care for them but i see a lot of silicones that end up getting torn or you know ripped because people don't quite know how to care for them um or they don't want to deal with the upkeep that it takes because you can't store them really like they're way more sensitive to like temperature and um, everything than uh, reborn dolls, vinyl reborns. So it's really like you have to keep up with the matting them. Like I said, you have to keep putting matting powder on them or they get shiny. Um, and um, you just, you gotta keep, keep up with them a lot more. Make sure, that, cause they get dusty easier as well. Um, like things like to stick on the um, the silicone a lot more than on the vinyl, 
Um, and then another thing is they don't, they're not supposed to be bathed. So what I mean by this is a lot of people think, well, I want a silicone doll because then I can put it in water. The thing is, yes, you can put them in water. It is not recommended because it can damage the paint. So um, people give their silicone dolls probably once or twice a year because of that. So I would caution people who are thinking about getting a silicone um, to not think that if you get a silicone, you're going to be able to give it baths all the time. I think that's a very important um, point to make um, when you're deciding on what kind of doll you want. Sure, like I said, you can do it a couple times, but uh, it's not it's definitely not recommended to put them in baths regularly. Um, it really damages them and then when you if you wanted to resell that doll, it would be very difficult to because then the paint would be damaged. and like I said, it's very hard to repaint silicones. So yeah, those are my little um, thoughts and feelings surrounding silicone dolls. Honestly, I don't think I would even have much use for a silicone doll. Like I said, the quant the kind of like full body thing, like I mentioned in my previous one of my previous videos, the whole full body silicone. I mean, the full body thing bothers, kind of weirds me out anyway. Um, I just don't think it's necessary um, for me as as far as my collection. I don't feel like I need to have uh, baby genitals. <laughs> um, like I just don't find it necessary for my my collection. Um, I do like belly plates, just like the gender neutral one that stops at the belly. Um, but for me, I don't think that anatomically correct is necessary for what I use my dolls for, which is photos and whatnot, because you can't really video or photo those parts anyway without them being flagged. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I would even have much purpose of a silicone uh, in the first place because, like I said, you can't really bathe them anyway, and that's what uh, I would like to do with them, but um, I don't know. They are very interesting to hold, though. Um, when I held one, uh, I held, actually, I met Claire Taylor. Was it Claire Taylor? No, no, it, was, it wasn't Claire Taylor. Was it Claire Taylor? Oh, gosh, I can't remember. My mind is drawing a blank, but she, um, it's not Claire Taylor. She's, she won the, the Lifetime Reborn Achievement Award for the 2019 Rose Doll Show. I'll put her name in the description when I figure it out. But, um, I met her and I, I got to hold her silicones and she was really nice. Um, and it was a really cool experience to hold them. Uh, the holding factor, now that was, that is a thing that I really, really do like about silicones. They're, they just hold differently. They might move kind of weird, but when you actually are holding them, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts surrounding silicone dolls. I probably have forgotten something that I wanted to make a point out of. Um, yeah, but... Oh, and... Oh, last thing I wanted to say. So, um, in order to get... If you stayed long enough, this is good for you because you get to find out the extra way to get an entry. So, I previously did a contest, well not a, I guess it would be a contest or something, of the first five people who could guess what I was doing with my alternative baby. And um, those people have been posted, they are have been um, notified that they get two extra entries for guessing correctly. The first five people guessed correctly, and I will be doing a Cupid baby um, out of the Cheyenne kit. Um, so this is a second opportunity for people to um, to get one extra entry into the giveaway. One extra entry. So in order to get one extra entry, you guys can go over to Instagram and you can share the giveaway. And I will make a little thing, or like a little uh, picture for you guys to share. And that will be the way you get an extra entry. And I will be making sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you like the video because I can tell those things. Um, and that you do it correctly. So basically all you have, all you will have to do is share that picture that I post that will have the giveaway information on it. And um, 
you'll have to do a hashtag. I'm still tinkering around with the hashtag name. I will put all that information on the photo that I post on Instagram. So when you see that, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm running out of time on this um, camera that I can record, so I won't be able to brush his hair. But um, there he is. He is so cute in this little outfit. I'm gonna take pictures of him all brushed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.